hey guys how are you so guys our today's topic is about the physiology of pancreas and in this lecture we are going to discuss about the endocrine function of the pancreas okay we have already discussed about the exocrine function in the previous lecture and in this lecture we will discuss about its endocrine function okay so guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon okay so guys in the endocrine function we are going to discuss about the islets of langerhorn cells okay and the islets of langerhorn cells are the ones which perform the endocrine function at first and what is their other thing that they secrete the hormone in blood okay and where they are present they are scattered around everywhere in pancreas okay scattered everywhere leave the around they are scattered everywhere in the pancreas more abundant in where in tail more abundant in tail and how much they compromise the pancreas just the one percent okay and it's like this for example this is a pancreas just a rough diagram and uh, all of it is uh, uh, compromised 99 percent is compromised by acne cells and just little dots everywhere like this and these dots are the islets of langerhorn and where are they more abundant in the tail in the tail they are more abundant okay so let's talk in uh, just uh, in a little bit detail of islets of langerhorn we are not going to go in a big detail just a little bit overview okay about the islets of langerhorn okay so first we need to know that uh, what is islets of langerhorn it is a it is just a tissue okay islets of langerhorn is a tissue so what does it means to be a tissue a tissue is a combination of cells okay it uh, it is formed by the combination of cells so how many cells does uh, islets of Langer ha langerhorn have it has four cells okay it has four cells so which cells does it have the number one is alpha cells number two is beta cells number three is delta cells and number four is pp cells or f cells okay so there are four types of cells in the islets of Langerhorn and what are their functions alpha cell secretes insulin no no the glucagon glucagon and beta cell secretes insulin and delta cell secretes somatostatin and pp cell secretes pancreatic polypeptide pancreatic polypeptide okay so now this is the about the secretion and the thing we are which we are going to discuss in this lecture is about their position and the second is about their functions okay just in in an overview okay so now for example this is a pancreas okay and there is alpha uh, islets of langerhorn everywhere okay so now let's take out one islet of langerhorn okay just make it a little bit big what is this islets of langerhorn okay <coughs> so where are these cells are present <coughs> for remembering that i have made a mnemonic for these okay for example alpha cells are what alpha cells are alpha man okay just for assume that it is alpha man and what are b cells b cells are beautiful woman okay and what are those delta cells delta cells are like dogs and we will discuss pp later wait okay 
so now for example where must the beautiful woman must be present okay we must know in this real world first thing is in the real world their women's are more men's are very less okay so women's are 60 percent or we can say beta cells are 60 percent compromise compromising the islets of langerhorn most uh, the most percentage is of the islets of langerhorn and the men's are just 25 to 30 percent okay and the others are these two cells in very small amount okay you know dogs are in small amount and alpha men's are uh, little more and beautiful movements are more or uh, beautiful movements are less but actually women's are more okay and men's are less so beta cells are compromising 60 percent of the islets of langerhorn so now where is what about their position okay as we know that uh, where are the beautiful women should they be present uh, at the corners or in the center the answer is that the women's are always the center of attention okay so women's are always present the beautiful women's are always in the center or we can say beta cells are always in the center okay and now what about the alpha men's the alpha men's are very you know strong and they are always present around the beautiful women's the men's are always present about around the beautiful women's okay so women's are always in the center and the men's are around them okay in the real world it is also like this so beta cells are always in the center and the alpha and the alpha cells are around them and what about these delta cells the dogs should the dog should be present in the center or they should be present around so the answer is everyone knows that dogs are present everywhere everywhere in the middle also and around also everywhere okay so it is very easy to remember like this and what about this last cell the f cells there's no need to tell you where is the f cells just remember f cells are just everywhere okay between the dogs as well and between the man, beautiful women and alpha men and between b and b beautiful women and beautiful women between men and men everywhere the f is present everywhere okay so this was an easy way to remember it okay and now let's discuss about their functions as well okay so now what do you think when the beautiful women will be activated what kind of uh, circumstances will activate the beautiful women? They are activated in response to food. Okay, most of the beautiful women are activated in response to food. Okay, so what it will secrete in response to food? It will secrete insulin. The food means the glucose will come. Glucose in response to glucose when we eat something and then the insulin will be secreted and insulin will carry it into the tissues okay except brain it will carry everywhere into the tissues okay and it will be utilized so no, uh, there will be no accumulation of insulin and what will be the alpha cells or the alpha men will be doing should uh, the beautiful women are always secret, uh, activated in response to food but what about alpha men they are on diet and they are very cautious so when they will be activated in crisis situation you know alpha men are always activated in crisis situation like what deficiency of glucose when there is deficiency of glucose these cells are activated and they will break down the stored uh, they will secrete glucagon and it will break down the stored like uh, uh, glucose and it will bring it to circulation okay and what about the dogs the delta cells the dogs will just do one thing it will secrete somatostatin and somatostatin will do what it will inhibit both alpha and beta cells okay so it will in in inhibit all both the alpha and the beta cells and the f cells function is not clear so this was just the overview about the islets of langerhorn okay so guys if you like my lecture then please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon 
ओके बाय बाय गाइस सी यू